In this video today, I will show you how you can save audio presets like plugins that you use in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad and you want to reuse them in future projects. There are two ways and I will show you both of those ways. I already prepared the following. I have all of my plugins that I use on a daily base on my clip. So now I want to save them as presets. And there's a couple of ways how you can do this. Number one, did you know that you can also apply those effects, not just to your clip? Like for example, this is my clip. Now here on the effects, I don't have any effects. But what I did, I have my effects on my track. So if I select my track and I go to effects, so for example, audio, any audio effect, you can also drag and drop this here to your whole track. So that means everything that you put on this track will have this audio effect. And then you can select this one, go to the inspector and you will see those effects here. That's the one we just added. I don't need this one, so we can delete this. One way how you can be faster is, of course, when you are here in effects, you can always make your effects a favorite. So for example, this one, I can select the star and now it will appear here under my favorites. And if you work in the edit page, the cool thing here is when you are in effects, the favorites are immediately visible here. So for example, multiband compressor and limited are the two most used that I use. I can just drag and drop my stuff down here. How do I do this now when I'm in a new project? So I can drag and drop this down here. And now my multiband compressor is like this. Now I have to start making all my adjustments. But here on the top, you can actually create presets. So for example, here I can select open and I can say, oh yeah, Daniel's voice or vocals for Susie. Or you can create your own ones with whatever settings you do. You can save them here with the plus and then give it a name and you can save your preset. And now you have a preset for this one plugin. So for example, next time when I go in and I bring in the multiband compressor, I can immediately use that one. You know, this is already fast, but the problem now is let's say on this track, I have all of those ones. So I have to do this now one, two, three, four, five, six times. And yes, you would be faster doing it exactly the same way. And I also would recommend you that you have your own uh, settings for each of them. But there's also a way how you can save all of those plugins into one preset. And the way it works, we need the Fairlight page for that. We go to the Fairlight page and here on the Fairlight page, we have to open the shortcuts menu, option, command and K. And now when we go here to Fairlight, there is actually preset library. You have to give this a shortcut because we can't open this without the shortcut. And if we have a shortcut here, so I, for example, have control and zero. So now if I'm in the Fairlight page, I hit control and zero, I get the preset library. And now because I already created all of my effects to my audio one, I can now come in here to the plugin presets and now say, for example, everything that is here on audio one, I want to save this as a new, yeah, create new and I can give it whatever name and I say, okay. So next time when you go into a new project, you can just come to the Fairlight page. You can even do this to a different track. I show you this now. If we, let's say we add a new track here, add stereo track. So we have now audio track number two. If we look into the inspector, nothing is here. So I go into the Fairlight, go into the preset library. And now I can say, okay, for my plugin presets for audio two, I want to apply the one that we just created. Apply, boom. And now if I look into the inspector for audio two, inspector, you see that all of our effects with all of the settings, everything is now in here. Now the last part of this video. What about if you go to a new machine, like a new laptop, a new MacBook, whatever, to a friend, and you want to bring all of those presets at once to a different place? Because you can't, if you look here into the library, we can't really save our preset. We have them here, but we can't save them. And I was looking into that for a long time, but the easiest solution, it's actually that simple, is when you save this project here, everything is saved, and we come in here to the project manager, and this is now my test file, I can say export project and now bring it wherever I want to my SSD drive, for example, and then I rename this as preset audio plugins, safe. And this project file that I just created, you can open that in a different DaVinci Resolve and you will have the, exactly the same project. And then in that project, you will find on audio one and audio two, all of the plugins that I created. So on the other machine, you go back to the Fairlight page and you open the preset library. And then you basically did the same what I showed you in this video. You can now hit save new and then you also created all of your preset and you save them as a preset externally. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding the bam bang gong. And also we have a masterclass for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad from beginner to pro where we show you everything. I will copy a link here in the description. See you in the next video, probably more tomorrow. I'm Daniel. Bye.